It might seem like something from science fiction, but a group of government-backed researchers are hoping to have health supply drones in the sky before the end of the year. It's the next step in medicine. NT Health is investing nearly $1.5 million to the three-year research project in partnership with Charles Darwin University and iMove Australia. The government says the trial will be the first of its kind in the country, although similar technologies have been used overseas. So we need to understand where drones are going to make a difference and where they're going to have the best benefits in terms of costs and outcomes. That includes procuring drones that can tolerate the territory's heat, humidity and monsoonal rains. The project is looking at basing the drones and a pilot in Jabiru to fly supplies to surrounding communities like Maningrida and Gumbalanya. We think the West Arnhem Land would be an ideal location in terms of airspace uh, and benefits to communities where a lot of those communities are cut off by the East Alligator River for quite a few months of the year in the wet season. For a nurse in a remote clinic uh, to be able to, to get some pathology uh, results out quickly each day as opposed to having to, to wait for a weekly plane, for example. So that gives the patient better care um, and, and might not have a, a significant cost imperative. The project team will have to navigate regulatory hurdles like negotiating with defence and aviation authorities around flight paths. And no, drone delivery isn't expected to play a role in the rollout of any COVID-19 vaccines in the Territory. It's expected the early focus will be on pathology tests and medical supplies which don't require cold storage. Kate Ashton, ABC News.